Frankie wants to know, hey, I watched your videos and I get a lot of info about phones. So is T-Mobile going 3G because of the G1 phone? That way I can unlock iPhone for T-Mobile and still get 3G. I see. Okay, Frankie, here's the deal. Yes, T-Mobile has a 3G network. Yes, the G1 runs on it. Yes, they will have other phones. They already do have other phones that run on 3G. They'll have many more coming soon. No, you cannot use the iPhone 3G on T-Mobile and get 3G. T-Mobile's 3G and AT&T's 3G are different. They run on different frequencies. It's like VHS and Beta or uh, uh, Mac and Windows sort of, or uh, Blu-ray and HD DVD. They do similar things. In this case, it's fast 3G data, but it's different technology. You cannot use an iPhone 3G on T-Mobile and get 3G speeds. For that matter, you can't use an iPhone 3G on Verizon or on Sprint because it's different technology. So it's not gonna work, sorry. All right, uh, let's see. Cool Kid. Cool Kid says, hey. No, he didn't say hey, I said hey. Cool Kid said, I was just browsing through the site checking out touch phones for AT&T and I noticed you have quite a few videos covering phones, electronics, etc. So I thought maybe you know the answer to my question. Recently I saw the commercial for the Blackberry Storm and I was rather impressed. But I noticed the commercial was focusing on Verizon. So my question is, do you know if it will be available for AT&T? No, the BlackBerry Storm will be a Verizon exclusive, at least right now and, uh, you know, possibly forever, but certainly right now it's a Verizon only phone. And like we just said, different technology, so it's not like you can unlock it and run it on AT&T. The Storm is Verizon only. Uh, if it won't work on AT&T, what do you recommend besides the LG View and the Apple iPhone? because I can't get a new plan just to buy a touchscreen phone. Um, all right, so Cool Kid, and then there's a related question. But, uh, okay, Cool Kid. So for AT&T, if you want a touchscreen and you don't want the view, and you don't want the iPhone, then, uh, or besides the view and the iPhone, I can tell you that there's a new touchscreen phone with mobile TV, AT&T's mobile TV on it, as well as a bunch of other features, but the view is a mobile TV phone. And uh, there's a new mobile TV phone that's going to be coming out on AT&T uh, pretty soon. I can't tell you much more about it. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, so you might want to wait. I would imagine it'll be out before the holidays because they like to, you know, get everything out for the holiday shopping season. But I, I don't know. I don't have a date on it yet. But there's a new touchscreen phone for AT&T that'll be out that's pretty, pretty cool looking. Uh, also, the HTC Touch Pro, we believe, is still coming out for AT&T, so that's a full Windows mobile smartphone with a uh, slide-out QWERTY keyboard. And the Quickfire, the UT Starcom Quickfire, will be out soon for AT&T um, before Thanksgiving, I would bet. Um, I, I would bet probably before Thanksgiving. Uh, that one, did I wink? Okay. That'll be out before... Uh, uh, soon. So that'll be worth checking out also. That one looks like it's a touchscreen phone with a slide out keyboard, kind of like a sidekick, um, but uh, not a full on smartphone. So there you go. Uh, and then Icy Babe says, I heard rumors the storm, uh, so this is about the Blackbird Storm also. It's supposedly being released before Thanksgiving. Do you know when it's really coming out? Uh, yes, before Thanksgiving is what I have heard as well. No one happens to know the cost. I've asked around, but still have no clue. So uh, somebody told me it's going to be in the UK before it hits the US. No, 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 no. The storm, well, the storm will be in the UK. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be on Verizon before it hits Vodafone over, over in the UK. Not 100%, but I'm pretty sure because Verizon's doing a tour. They're doing uh, parties. They had a party in LA this week with Foo Fighters. I didn't get to go. Um, as far as price goes, I don't know, but I'm guessing 200, maybe 250 with a contract after rebate. Um, there is also a question about the storm regarding, oh yeah, uh, same from Icy Babe. Uh, I heard it's a touchscreen, but I also heard if you touch it, it feels like buttons and it's not a touchscreen. So the deal with the storm, I have not yet played with one, but the deal is it's a touchscreen but unlike, you know, a touchscreen like, like this, when you just touch it, with the Storm, when you touch it, the whole screen is actually a button. And so when you touch the screen, you then push, and it clicks like a button. And uh, I guess the deal is that the technology basically, it senses where your finger is, 
and then it also is a button. So it's like a touch screen, you, know, you can press different places to do different things, but it doesn't actually register until you press. And I think the idea is to try to make typing better, because typing on a touch screen can be the most frustrating thing for me about the iPhone is typing. I know a lot of people say it's easy. I don't like it. I like typing on buttons better. And uh, the idea with the BlackBerry Storm is that it's supposed to be um, easier to type on because it's actual buttons. You know, or it's actually one button that you press, but then it's the touch screen, so it's like multiple things. It sounds interesting. I'm psyched to check it out. Uh, before Thanksgiving is, uh, is what I, the information that I have, and price I don't know for sure, but we're looking at probably 200, maybe 250 uh, after rebate with a contract. Um, all right, another, another kind of cool thing that I want to show you, just because it's here. So this is the LG Lotus from Sprint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair it to this, oh, <laughs> now it's not plugged in. I'm going to pair it to this Sony Ericsson Bluetooth speaker. And I just want to show you, because we talk a lot about stereo Bluetooth and, and um, people always think about, you know, Bluetooth being like you can connect a phone to your, uh, to a hands-free earpiece or you, to send your, you know, so you can talk while you're driving or whatever. Um, or you can connect a phone to like a computer to transfer files back and forth. But uh, one thing that people don't necessarily always think about or realize is that with a stereo Bluetooth phone, you can also connect it to speakers for listening to music. Listening to music. All right, so one thing I want to show you just because it's kind of cool. Um, we talk about Bluetooth a lot and stereo Bluetooth and what does that mean? And so Bluetooth is a wireless system that lets you uh, use like a hands-free earpiece or speakerphone for talking on the phone, like when you're driving or whatever. Um, and it also lets you transfer files back and forth between some phones and other phones or computers. So you can, you know, move your photos around or music or whatever. Um, stereo Bluetooth is support for stereo audio. So you can listen to stereo files like music from your phone to a wireless Bluetooth device. So we talk about that a lot uh, in reference to headphones and earpieces. But one thing I want to show you just because it's kind of neat is this is a, a Sony Ericsson device. I, I'll get the model number for it. It's the uh, MBS 100. And it's this, this ball that's a Bluetooth stereo speaker. And it's rechargeable. It's got a battery in it. I've got it hooked up to an AC adapter right now. And it can pair with any stereo Bluetooth device. So I've got this LG Lotus phone right here, and it's a stereo Bluetooth device. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair it with the Sony Ericsson Bluetooth speaker. And get this saved. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to play back some music. So we'll connect. You can see the light's no longer green. Now it's just there. And we'll put this uh, put this over here. And we'll get some music happening. Um, what's cool about this device, a couple things that are kind of cool about it. One is that it's rechargeable battery. So you can unplug it and you can take it around, you know, outside with you or use it in your house where you go. So I'm playing the music and I'll stop it. Um, so what's cool about things like this is not only, you know, is it cool as a little portable speaker and it's wireless, but this particular one actually has a jack in here. It's hard to see, but it's got a little input output jack. So 
You can connect this to like an, uh, an iPod or something with a cord and use it. But you can also connect it up to a big stereo and just use it as a wireless receiver. So I can transmit music from here wirelessly to this thing and then hook it into my giant stereo system to get a little more power, a little better sound, and then use this like kind of like a wireless iPod. You know, I can sit on the other side of the room and I can stop the music, change the music. One Tree Hill, one of my favorite U2 songs. So kind of cool. And what's nice about stereo Bluetooth is it's standardized. So even though this is Sony Ericsson and this is LG, they still work together. Obviously, Sony would prefer that you use this with a Sony phone, but you know, whatever. There you go. Just a little piece of uh, cool geeky stuff from your friends at Phone Dog. Let's get back to the uh, mailbag here. 